call it not call. Welcome back to Coronation Street's soapy slip-ups, where letting the occasional naughty word slip out is an occupational hazard. <laughs> Stupid code. The language from a young lad, look. <laughs> Sometimes I deliberately swear knowing I might get on this show. It's that bad. <laughs> Wholesaler letters four dozen short down under love. <laughs> I swear a lot. I swear, I don't know. It feels like a confession. I do have a bit of a potty mouth, I think. Oh, terrible. I can't lie. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> yeah, you either swear or laugh. It's one of the two. Everyone we care about is in as much danger as we <laughs> In scenes where you would want to be swearing, if you were in real life, of course you can't. <laughs> so you've got to put in of you. Oh, piddle. I don't know, fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks is good. Helen Worth says lordy quite She's a lot. She goes, oh, lordy, 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 lordy. What were you saying? I do have a tendency to swear when I mess up. The dog collar makes it worse. Yeah, yeah, great idea. And while we're at it, we can strip the dead. Yeah, great idea. While we're at it, we can strip the lead off the roof and oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I fell over my own tongue. I'm so sorry. It's probably not the worst thing I've done wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird with some dialogue. For some reason, it just doesn't go in. And you get this sort of rising panic as you're getting to it. It's coming, it's coming. No, I knew I was going <laughs> to <laughs> Can you put something over my mouth as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. With a distinguished acting career spanning over 50 years, Coronation Street has its very own dame, Dame Maureen Lipman. There is nothing like a dame. So it's no surprise that some of the cast are keen to impress. It can be scary. It's intimidating. Even now. The thing is with Maureen is that she is very dry. Very dry. She's a pussycat, really, Maureen. Especially if, when the first time you've met her, you've given her a glass of scotch. That's how I did it. We are best friends for life. So I just remember being nervous, really, really nervous about working with Dame Maureen. And instead of coming in well prepared and smashing it and impressing one of the the high like the actress of that caliber and quality, you missed out on a job because of your glue fetish. You can't represent a guard. I come in and I literally <laughs> the bed the whole time. <laughs> Deeds down, damn it! <laughs> Don't worry, Charlie. Perhaps you didn't notice. And you didn't actually do anything. Except the same. <laughs> 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 Oh, no! <laughs> don't beat yourself up. Even dames have off days. Now, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but um, you've got enough women under that house roof already. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but haven't you got enough women? I don't want to sound like an actress. <laughs> <laughs> Reflecting real life, COVID protocols have become part and parcel of life on the street, presenting a whole new set of challenges for the cast. You've dropped your mask. I know. A nightmare, the masks. I re oh, hang on. Uh. An absolute nightmare. <sighs> bugger, bugger, bugger. I can't get the mask off with these gloves, sorry. He had the, did you see the gloves he had on? <laughs> you know, he didn't have any fingers like, ooh. Can't do mask and gloves. You sign this, please, boss. Yeah, look, I need to lock up, so... Oh. so <laughs> <laughs> you can't get the mask off with the gloves on. <laughs> that line made me laugh so much as well, because he was trying to be incognito. Sign this, please, boss. You sign this, please, boss. You know, it's like, ow. <laughs> To help the actors stick to social distancing rules. The two meter rule, thank 